Good afternoon, all. It's uh, Monday afternoon, and I've actually decided I'm going to empty this closet and sort it all out and have a good clean out. Obviously, the bike stand needs to be kept. Uh, reason being, because I'm going to put all these little bike parts in some of these drawers which I plan to get Thursday and uh, I've got so much shit and crap in here I don't really need I don't plan on using but there's just so much that's going to be either taken to mums and given to stepdads such as that lead light I'm not going to need this um, I do want the um, hot snot gun. I don't want that though. Uh, so, yeah, I think that would be more useful over at Mum's. What else have I got? Do I really need something like that? I don't even think there's a use for that over at Mum's either. It may end up going in the garbage. Right, I've got another hot snot gun there. That charger I'll keep. The tins of paint I need to keep. Um, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'll get this out of the way. I am going to have to put a fresh garbage bag in the garbage bin. But my plan is, if I can at least clear this shelf, I should be able to stack drawers too high. If I can't, then I'm just going to move that shelf here, this one, up a wee bit. Should be just a case of uh, unscrewing that and unscrewing that and reattaching them. Uh, um, but that would actually uh, sort out most of my small bike parts because I've got shit loads of them and I would prefer to just go to that cupboard and go to the, a drawer rather than have to keep getting all these bloody tubs out. <sighs> I think drawers that size should be big enough. I could get those as well because they're 99p. Uh, well, they were. These smaller ones were 99p and these ones were £1.50. Uh, but I haven't actually bought any for a while, so I don't know if the prices have changed. Not likely, but... Maybe so I don't have to have so many freaking tubs lying around. I'll see how many of these I can actually get and get some of these drawers for other jobs. And just have a cupboard for bike parts and other various parts. <laughs> I mean, I could sort this shelf out. And have a bunch stacked up there for, um, I don't know, little electrical bits and pieces. But then again, I could just sort as many of my electrical bits out and my bulbs out into these. Because these, I'm going to have four of these empty. Yeah. So I could just stack them up there. I only stack them that way because they use up less uh, shelf space. So, yep, time for a sort out. A good, tidy, and sort out. Bet that bloody big green box over there won't go in this cupboard with everything that's in it, will it? Um, but, because there's a lot of bike parts in that big green tub, that's got to be sorted out anyway. 
So I'm just thinking, could I uh, hopefully I can get some of these <sighs> some of this, some extension cords down there I'm going to take over to mum's as well now this just reminded me I was watching a video on YouTube I can't remember who it was by now but they called this something else we call it a lump hammer here well, that's what I've always known it as, anyway. Like a, you know, it's a miniature sledgehammer. There's a fair bit of weight in that as well. Um, but I, was, I can't remember what this other, what this guy called it. it was, he was American, I think. American? Canadian? One of the other. <coughs> anyway, he called it something else. Was it mini sledge or something? I can't remember now. But I'd never heard it called anything other than a lump hammer. <laughs> I'm probably going to get rid of one of these, possibly, could eBay it, but that's going to wire the turn, ah, disc rotors, I knew I had a pile of them somewhere, now they can actually go in with the tub that's not there anymore, <laughs> where did I put that, um, I can't fucking remember, no. I had a box of all them brake calipers and crap there. I can't remember where I've put them. Where did I put them? There's a tub like that one. Uh. I should put that up on the wall somewhere. No idea where it come from. It was just in a bunch of stuff. That belonged to um, a fr um, my friend's dad, so it's wherever he picked it up from. <coughs> right, uh, you want to keep the whole snot gun? Yeah, I think my best bet is to empty. So they're actually start at the bottom here, I think. Here's my, uh... Brown packet... Whee! Tripping over a power cord. My brown packaging paper. Right. So what are these bulbs and Christmas lights? If I can actually get those into that big green box said big green box can then go under here <laughs> and then I'd actually be able to stack things on top of the box because uh, <coughs> you can't really get these coloured bulbs anywhere no not in the shops anyway they don't do them I think you might find some on eBay but everything is LED now. I'm just going to move these tins. I've got some bulbs, I think, of some sort in there. I can't remember. Right. Um, but I think... I think those drawers would... Uh, be good in here. It'd make life a lot easier. It'll tidy up this cupboard. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I'm going to be chucking out, I think. I don't know. I, may, I was going to throw out that box, but I may actually keep that one. There's a, it's full of capacitors, mostly. I mean, there's tubs like this, look. I'm not going to use them. But I know a man who will, so... I need... <laughs> actually, there's a tray in the bottom of this cupboard I could empty out and use so I'm going to use that right well I need to take a piss uh, can I go put the radio on and I'm going to crack on at least with the bottom here so uh, I'll uh,
turn the camera back on when I've progressed in the bottom here. Right, well I've been a very busy chappy. Nemo wants his food. Um, I don't have the Schwinn anymore, I've got rid of that. Um, didn't sell it, I swapped it. Because this lad has been <laughs> pestering me for a while, wanting a decent bike to ride, so... And he actually offered me a frame that I couldn't refuse, really. Look at this. Yes, it's a Claude Butler. And it's got a Claude Butler signature on it. If it's going to show. I might just be able to make it out there. Is it going to focus? Somewhere there. And there's black and white. It is just a frame, but it's got the crank with it. Which is good. It's got the front dralia with it, which is good. I've got rear dralias, which is good. <laughs> um, I've got wheels to choose from, which is good. Uh, shifters will be an issue. I don't have the ones I want. Because <laughs> they were on the Schwinn. <laughs> didn't think of that when I got rid of it till now. Oh well. Something will come along. I've got some old style trigger shifters, but I'm not putting them on that. Oh, fucking hell, I've got heartburn. Jesus. Yeah, um. I don't want you coming up on my lap, Nemo, because I'm going to get up again, because I just remembered. Oh. Uh, I had a couple of debates on Facebook as well. Someone's debating speed bumps. And he put up a PDF of the pros and cons of speed bumps, but some of the cons to me just don't make much sense. Right, but here's what I've got done in here so far. Got some bike bits down the bottom here. As you can see, I've got my tub. I think that black tub's full of um, sockets, ratchet sockets, you know, tools, not the, not a plug-in socket. Um, all my bike parts are there. Spare bulbs, spare bulbs, spare bulbs in that cardboard box. Light strings in that box, which are ideal. I only kept them because they're ideal for parties. That's why I've actually, that's the reason I kept all these. If we ever decide to have a party, you know, I've got the lighting there to do it. I've got rid of the large one of these and just kept the two little ones. A Dremel, a couple of battery chargers, or six. <laughs> There's three drill chargers up here. Three sort of auto car battery chargers, whatever you want to call them. I've got another one behind me. I really don't know. I don't want to keep them all. I know having a couple kicking around would be good. But I think having five is taking a piss a little bit. Because I've got my old German one here. It's unt good one. This one is unt good. Fuck knows what I'm saying there, but never mind. <laughs> you see, this one's actually... It looks... Uh, but they all work. I don't know if Stepdad requires an extra one. Well, I've got that jumper pack one in here as well. Not jumper pack. The starting charger. Uh, this is going to be my next project. Uh, I've got all these lamp holders. I have shown these on video before, but what you do with these ones... Oh, that's one from the 60s, I think. That one. I think so. And what you do, you unscrew this bit, right. you fix this bit on the wall, or wherever you want it, and the idea is you'd have several of these and you'd put them at intervals along the wall. Actually, what you would do, you'd put the cable on first. I've just realised. You put your cable in there. I don't know if you can actually see in there. Have a look. 
you just see them two little spikes right they are offset as you can see so you put your standard twin and earth cable in there 1.5 mil over here in the UK no idea what gauge wire that would be in America and Canada uh, then you'd screw this on and as you screw this base on pushes the cable down and uh, pushes these spikes into the cable that make connection so once you've got this screwed into the base here's one I made earlier a bit of blue Peter you would then um, just screw this to the wall I don't think you'd have to use all four mounts there but two should be enough just to hold it to the wall or whatever you want to screw it to so uh, however long your cable is and however many of these you've got is well no limit really <laughs> and these would still be usable today because you can put LED bulbs in them so you could put the RGB LEDs in there the red green blue ch color changing ones you can get bulbs with those in that'd be a funky thing I mean, I've got shit all over my bed now Perhaps it wasn't a good idea you are meant to put these rubbers on as well you know they would they act as like a little ceiling sock I suppose you put that over it like that and when you put your bulb in the top seals around that and the water can't get in but I think I've only got like four <laughs> there's four that's all I can see oh five six so I could make a row of six safely eight oh six seven eight so I could make a row of eight safely could use the others but they wouldn't be very safe but I've still seen things like this on eBay you can still get them Hello. oh he must have come back for some water so it's not like them to return and then disappear again they're the volunteers for the North Walshman blue team bloom rather not blue they go around and they maintain a lot of the I suppose you'd call them communal garden areas flower beds that make the town look nice they do a very good job very good job and then you got the gorilla gardener adding to that as well with his little bit so in a way this town doesn't look like a shithole but there's just not a lot to do here really and trying to go into a shop to buy anything is ridiculous you're better off going online anyway uh, I'm still not sure if I'll have to raise that shelf or not I'm hoping I don't in fact instead of raise that one I could lower this one yeah <laughs> I don't know I'll think of something right so I've still got some crap laying around in here I've got my 240 volt drill down there I always find it's handy to have one of them my one got loaned to my brother and it was one of them sort of permanent loan things you know you loan it out you don't get it back <laughs> mind you I paid 15 pounds for it brand new out of QDs in town I believe when I first moved in here because I need I want something cheap that I could just use to throw a few things up on the wall and uh, I got that because it was cheap <laughs> uh, well those pigeons reminded me I can't remember if I said that in the video but I went down to him this morning and he died overnight it's perfectly fine when I left him last night although he did have diarrhea I did notice that he did a nice dollop on the bins because I sit him on the bins while I'm sorting out his uh, or while I sorted out his little pad and uh I noticed it, uh, I did notice his poop didn't look normal so whether he caught something while he was down there I don't know still feeling sad though hmm room temperature coat 
and I'll get a power supply put back in that. I've got a choice. I have a choice. Not nice. Big blacker one. Which has got one power connector on that I need to test said video card with. But I need another one. So either way, I'm still going to need a bloody adapter, aren't I? This one hasn't got any, I don't think. No, it's got Molex on it. I've got so many of these. Oh, this one's got it on as well. It's only got the one, though. I need the two. I could cheat and power up two of these. and <laughs> That's why I suppose I could do that, actually. Because, uh... All I'd have to do is short out the um, green wire with a neutral wire on that connector. And I'd use another piece of wire to do that, so I could actually do that. Just to test it. Uh, but I think I do need an adapter anyway for this one, because I know this one works. I just don't have that connector. I'm sure I did actually have one somewhere, but... I don't know, I've got a pile of bits through there. There's another half decent one as well. A bit outdated now. I can't remember, I think I have some DDR4 on this one. That one, according to my brother, is DDR5. Um, made in China, it's an Asus one. Not one I would personally go for myself. I don't know how he worked out that was DDR5. Not unless he googled it on his phone. He might have done when I wasn't looking. Yeah, I'm going to have a play with that this evening, I think. I'm sure, I'm sure I can Frankenstein something together. Oh, bloody hell. Right. Plan of action tomorrow, and you know I don't have a fucking clue. Mm. Oh no, I've got half up from the hell. Oh, I didn't have that much ketchup or dinner either. <coughs> Ooh, right. I think I'll put the black one in. I know it's 50 watts less than the gold one, because the gold one's 550. But I'll put the black one in. Get out of the box, you bastard. Come on. Sure, I needed to take a poop myself. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, yes, I nearly forgot those copper. I think they're like copper rivets or something in there. They're copper coloured, whatever they are. My stepdad can have them as well. They're no good to me. I've got no use for them. I'm sure stepdad will find a use for them. There's no point in me keeping them here. They're just taking up room that I don't have. Right. Um, I don't know what I'll do. I'll get this computer Frankenstein back together and uh, hopefully I can report back later that the uh, video card that was found down the dump works. And I'll double check this one as well, actually. Right, be back later. Well, the good news is. That video card that Biggles got down the dump for me works. I can't believe it. It works. Fan started up and everything. It's why would someone throw out a working video card? There's still money sitting there, you know. I shouldn't think this was a cheap one. Um, that might fit in mine, actually. But, um, 
I looked for drivers and I can only find support on the Asus website um, for up to Windows 8.1 uh, might work with Windows 10, I don't know. It's certainly um, spec-wise better than what I've got in there. It's powered by NVIDIA, which is what I prefer. I'm not too keen on ATI Radeon, so that's what this one is. Which works as well, they both work. Uh, anyway, I've put all this back together with the 500 watt power supply in there and had to butcher the wires together for the fan and the LED lights at the front, the blue ones. Uh, I actually did a proper job this time. I didn't just twist the two ends together and tape them up, which is what I usually do. <laughs> It's not a method I like using. Well, not on a computer or anything like that. Uh, what the fuck have I done with that? I used... some crimps, and I don't know if I've got any left. Should we put a light on? I'm going to struggle with this. Um, I'm sure I just saw one in here. Oh, okay. Maybe I've used them all then. I used one of those. Just a straight through crimp connector. Or I used four of those, I should say. Two for each device. <clears throat> Just because I felt that was a, a better option. Um, the fan hasn't actually got a connector on it, so I can't actually connect it to anything, that's why I had to wire it in. But it's working, and I used the um, six pin graphics card connector from this power supply on top of the one from that one, so I basically had two power supplies running the video card to test it, because uh, both of these have got well, two of those. You can't see them, can you? Uh, just bear with me a second. I'll put the LEDs on on the... There we go. And I haven't got an adapter. Um, so I can't actually... I don't th think... My PC's got one. I might try it one day, if I get bored. Um, I've got to open it up at some point anyway, to try my DVD drive on another... SATA or SATA, whatever you want to call it, SATA. I've heard a lot of Americans pronounce it as SATA. I think we just call it SATA over here in Britain. SATA. 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 How do you prefer SATA, to be honest? I don't know why. Anyway, I suppose I better clean this shit up here so I can get in the bathroom. Uh, Kinda sorta looking forward to Thursday when I can get my drawers for in here. And um, I've actually figured as most of this in here are small parts, I might get away with the 99p drawers. I may not need the large ones. Actually, I just think I'll get four of the slightly bigger units and the rest I'll get as small ones. Because most of the parts are just small. I don't need big drawers for them. But uh, yeah, that'll clear most of twat. That's better. <laughs> that'll clear most of the crap that's all in there. Anyway, I suppose I could s get some larger drawers and sort some of these bulbs into them as well. Um, I'll do bike parts for now, though, and I'll get a bit more on the next payday, and pretty much do it the same way I did with the. Uh, Lego. I just gradually add to it as and when I need them and as and when I can. They're not expensive. Like I said, these ones, these large ones, were £1.50 in QDs, and these smaller ones, which is what I need the most of, were 99p. I'll I'll see what I've got. 
because I might be able to do it in one hit. Uh, what we got? Oh, five draws in these bigger ones. I thought they were um, four. Oh no, that's right. The first smaller cabinets they did, like these one, that black one at the top, there were four draws. The rest are five. Oh, I could do it in one hit then. If I don't put those bulbs in a drawer, I might find a sealable container or something. I could do with an ice cream tub with a lid. Because at least that way, if it's got a lid on it, I can stack it a lot better. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. Set fire to them, maybe. <laughs> yeah. So I've got some larger items in my blue box at the bottom there in that one maybe some of these black boxes as well uh, which is what I'll want the larger drawers for so if I've got four of them what's that? that's 20 drawers isn't it well, that should be plenty so if I've got them and then just got as many of the little ones as I could possibly get I think we'd be good I can't do anything like that till Thursday. I still got this. I don't even know what to do with this lot. Got them pedals to photograph and put on eBay. I don't think there's any more saddles there I can put on. I've just photographed a, a Brooks racing bike saddle to go on uh, eBay later. Uh, I'll put those photos across when I put this footage across. Um, bollocks, I forgot to do them fucking bike videos again, haven't I? Ugh. It's because I sidetracked myself with other things today, that's why. Uh, never mind, there's always tomorrow. Right. My CD player. <laughs> yeah, I might see if I can sort that tomorrow. We'll find a home for all these brake cables. That's all that is, brake cables. Brand spanking new brake cables. Might be a few used ones in there, but 99% of them are brand new. Uh, and believe it or not, he got them from the recycle centre, the whole lot, ages ago. Right. It's actually quite a tall frame, I've just realised that. That might be too tall for me. Those forks would fit the Peugeot, but they're the wrong colour. White's not going to look good. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits for the video. All I'm going to do is just clear some space down there. Uh, just so I can get into the bathroom. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm sure I'm actually forgetting something, something that I keep meaning to mention and I forget every time I put the camera on. I'll remember it as soon as I put the camera down. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Those are all vintage bike parts. Only two lots of the three I put on eBay have got bids on. If the third one doesn't get a bid on, then I'll just keep it. I'll just chuck the parts in one of them and keep them. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you all later, so thanks for watching, and, uh, bye.